Say you want to center this image and a div, both horizontally and vertically. Now there's nothing special about this code. You just have a div with an image on the inside. There's currently about eight different ways of doing this, but as of Chrome 123, block elements have this built in. Looking at some CSS, we just have some basic styling for our fonts, and then we have a background, and we specified a width and height, and the margin auto is just going to give us that box in the center of our screen, like so. Now there's quite a few hacks out there. Now you might've seen this one where you set the div to a table cell and you vertically align it middle and then you text line center. And that'll definitely center the content. The problem is you're setting it to a table cell and it's not actually a table. Then flex came along and they gave us a way to do it. You set your div to a flex and you line item center and you justify content center. And again, this gives us what we want. And what if we didn't want to use flex? Well, you can always use CSS grid. Same sort of thing. Display grid, align items, justify content, gives you the same result. And they even give you a nice shorthand, which is the same as align item center and justify content together, which is place item center. Again, we have to change the display to grid, and that might not be something we want to do. We want to keep it as a block element. That's where the new hotness comes in. As of Chrome 123, you can use this align content center. Text align center has always been here, but this align content center is going to vertically center it for us. Save that up. And sure enough, it centers it for us. And the beauty of this is it works on block elements. So you no longer have to change the display to something else for it to work. I hope you enjoyed this quick little CSS tip. If you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.